For much of known and written history, women have had subordinate roles. One of the large forces in the last century for global growth has been the rise of women. How do we create a vision that people will see the value of this need to change? Globally, 96% of the health gap has been closed, 93% of the education gap, 60% of the economic participation gap, and only about 19% of the political gap. The World Economic Forum has helped drive the conversation, not just looking at the rights of one half of the population, this is an underuse of one half of the world's human capital. As more and more companies and countries pay attention to talent, the issue of gender parity becomes more and more important. Is it going to help the bottom line? Because it's very much related to competitiveness. Companies that have more diversity in their organizations have a higher return. They're more profitable. In 2006, we launched the Global Gender Gap Report to measure how our country's ranking in terms of closing the gender gap. It's brought on board governments and CEOs that weren't paying attention to this issue before. The top management of the large corporations are very much aware of the need, but they don't know what to do. And that resulted in the repository of successful practices. A summarization of a lot of initiatives that have been done by companies and other institutions to actually eliminate that gap. We launched three pilot country-level task forces with the public sector, the private sector, the most influential organizations at the national level. We first want to try to document what each company is trying to do, what the best practices are, and then start uh, disseminating that throughout the task force. Businesses have to learn from each other, and governments have to learn from each other. The idea here is to take these three countries, Mexico, Japan, and Turkey, and closing economic gender gaps by 10% in three years, and then replicate this as models. Mainstream the question of gender equality into all our policies. The opportunity today is to scale up and to make a real difference. And I think that's the area where we can make a big impact. Whatever successes come out of this experiment, we're going to package that into a toolkit and make that available to other countries. We're starting to not just discuss it, but see progress being made. You have this momentum for change, and you have the ask for change. That's not the end of the road, but it's certainly a major milestone.